slow down and slide up All I, need. I hope you can handle the stick shit, babe Cause you gotta drive it uh, uh. Girl, don't try to fight it When I'm all up inside it All up on my stick shit, babe You got me excited Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I get my signature bob and I'm going to be using a premium lace wig to show you. So in the box you're going to receive a makeup bag, some wig caps, a comb, and some bobby pins and hair clips and also an elastic band for your wig and of course the wig. So the hairline on this wig is so nice. As you can see it comes pre-plucked. So I knew I would not have to do a lot of plucking at all, which I absolutely love. So this wig is a 360 lace frontal wig and this is their Malaysian straight hair and I got 18 inches. So I do prefer doing my bobs with straight hair, making sure that it is 18 inches and I prefer frontal wigs. It doesn't necessarily have to be a 360 frontal, this one just happens to be a 360 frontal wig, but I do prefer and I suggest doing a frontal wig when you're trying to do a bob like this. A closure is just not going to give you the same look and you're not going to be able to do like the baby hairs which I really like for my signature bobs. So like I said I like a frontal wig and this one just happens to be a 360 lace frontal wig. So I went in and I bleached the knots. I used my 40 volume developer and my BW2 white bleach for this. So after about 15 to 20 minutes, I went in with my Pantene Smooth 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner and I just washed it about three times and then I let it air dry overnight. I do prefer to let my wigs dry overnight instead of blow drying because it seems like when you blow dry hair, it, it's harder to get a super sleek, smooth, straightened finish because um, blow drying does give a lot of volume. So. I prefer letting them sit overnight and this is the next day I just went in I just brushed out all the waves and now I'm about to pluck the frontal. So this did come pre-plucked so I did not have a lot of plucking to do at all. I mainly just went in on the sides and did some and just the bare minimum in the middle and this took me about 20 minutes, probably 15 minutes actually. It did not take me long at all. So as you can see that hairline is looking so good. Now I'm just cutting off the lace and this is so much easier to do on your head than on a mannequin. This was just so tough, like I was struggling. But um, yeah, I'm just cutting off the lace and then I had to cut the lace in the back as well because this is a 360 lace frontal wig. So now I'm just going in and making sure I have a super, super straight, smooth middle part. There's going to be like no hair in this line when I'm finished with this middle part. I like to have a super sleek um, look with my bobs. So it's very important that I have a nice middle part. So this took about, I'd say five minutes. I'm just going in and being very precise and making sure that there's no hair in that middle part. So now it's time for the hardest part and the longest part of this process is the cutting because you're going to want to make sure that this bob is sharp enough to cut somebody. So I just take two ponytails and I just make sure that it's like right on my shoulders and I do leave it longer than what I want it to be because you know when you're cutting you need room for some air because it's not going to be perfect. So this process would be a lot easier and a lot faster if I had some clippers but I'm just way too lazy to go to the store and get them so I'm doing it the hard way by cutting with scissors but anyway I'm going to use one side as a guide to cut and I'm just going to take my comb level it up and just cut. This took me a good 40 minutes because I want it to be perfect like I said super sharp a lot of movement and just really really cute. So I'm going to cut until I get all the way to the other side of the wig and I'm going to Make sure that it's pretty much all together and then I'm going to straighten the wig. I'm going to straighten it so I can see exactly how um, the length looks 
and once it's straightened I can get a better view of how even the bob is all the way around. So when I straighten my bobs I make sure like I just straighten the heck out of the hair like I'm going three passes with the comb and everything to make sure that it's super super straight and this hair is straight already and that's why I prefer getting straight hair because you don't have to do a lot of straightening at all it's pretty much already straight you just have to get all the waves out of it so um, you're gonna want to make sure that you make it sure it's super straight because that's what's gonna give your bob the movement so it looks really good So this is the bob all straightened and now I'm just going to go in and perfect the cut. This is the most important part, making sure that everything is even, making sure that you have a good straight line and making sure that there's just nothing sticking out crazy. Um, it's probably not going to be so, 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 so perfect because I don't have the um, clippers to make sure that it's like a super straight line and I'm just doing this with scissors and just, you know, doing my best but you want to give the appearance that it is perfect so as close to perfect as you can get it is what's important here So as you can see the bob has a lot of life and a lot of movement. I did have to go in and cut some more once I put the um, wig on because you can see a little better how it looks on you than on a mannequin. So I did have to cut a little bit more once I put it on but after that it was so cute. So that is it for this video. All the information for this wig will be down in the description box so definitely check out premium lace wigs. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Been around real cats all your life since way back. You still got it, cause you was turned out once. Guess you learned ain't no future with the burnt out stunts. Left the hood to get your own thing. With home team pushing through, watch your phone gleam. Yeah, I, you probably heard that my pipe game tight. Rocking VVS stones, powder blue whips with egg headlights. Send a weed getting all in your weed. I put out the trees and crack the moon roof only for you to breathe. You get an extra set of keys. I tell a girl while I'm out on tour, keep your hands on my girls. The law, the law. Uh, yeah, you don't want to. I'm not a friend of mine, 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 I